Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock right here on Magic TV and it's time for another video. Today, I'm going to be doing another one in the Three Best Trick series. If you haven't heard of the Three Best Trick series, the idea is simple. I take a particular topic, subject, genre of magic and I talk about three tricks within that genre that you might have never seen before. Because let's be honest, there are literally millions of tricks out there. It doesn't matter how red you are. You can be the you could be the love child of Eugene Berger and Max Maven, and you still probably haven't seen absolutely everything that there is to see. And one thing I believe in is standing on the shoulders of giants. And one thing I want this channel to be about is spotlighting and highlighting routines that you guys might have missed, that you might find fit within your repertoire. And that's what this series is all about. Now today, I'm going to be doing three tricks using a reversed card that you've never seen before. Uh, laymen love reversed card tricks. Just try the very simple reversed card where they take a card, it goes in the deck and it turns over. Just try that really simple trick and you'll find that um, you'll find that uh, lay people really love it. They do. Uh, it seems impossible because you know how can a card turn over in the middle of a deck? How is that even possible? And if you actually think about it, it isn't an easy thing to do. If you actually wanted to make a card turn over in the deck, you'd have to do a center reverse, which is not an easy move to do at all. Um, luckily, uh, a lot of routines that require reverse cards, including the ones that I'm going to go through with you now, they don't use the center reverse. Instead, they actually use different techniques to achieve the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go through three tricks using reverse cards that you might never have seen before. Uh, these are my favorite routines. These are three routines I perform in the real world all of the time, and uh, they are super fun to perform as well. So without further ado, let's have a look at three tricks using reverse cards that you've never seen before. So the first one is Inversion Inverted by Jay Sankey. Inversion Inverted is Jay's version of the inversion plot. Now, what is inversion? Inversion basically is a reversed card plot, but instead of actually one card being reversed, the entire deck becomes reversed. Um, uh, and it's a great plot. Now, a lot of people, including myself, tend to use inversion as the finale to a reversed card routine because it's kind of a great way to end it. The card turns over, the card turns over, the entire deck turns over. What Jay has done in this routine is he's taken the inversion routine, isolated it away from anything else and created a two-phase routine that's basically just inversion done twice. And it's a really great routine, it really is. It's very quick, it's very direct, uh, and uh, it's very, very powerful. It really is. And it's not difficult to do. It's from a shuffle deck of cards in use. Uh, all you have to do is be able to do a half pass at some point, and that's really just to set the trick up, and then you're good to go. So let's have a look at it. There it is. This is Inversion Inverted by Jay Sankey. I believe the first time I learned this was on Sankey Says, possibly. He's put so much stuff out. I just forget uh but it's it's uh it's a great routine uh it, i think it's on the uh the, the best of jay sankey by alan al it might be on there anyway let's have a look at it michael are you gonna help me is that all right yes got a pack of 52 playing cards 52 cards 52 possibilities uh they're all there they're all different and you my friend are going to grab one of them it's very okay. exciting so uh that's the worst shuffle in the world but don't worry about it uh reach in and grab a card any card you want to not that one <laughs> I'm joking, you can have that one, I don't care. Uh, when you've got the card, show uh, show everyone at home, check it out, make sure it's okay. Are we good? Yeah. Now, pass me the card. I'm going to leave your card in the middle of the deck, sticking out like that. You can push it in yourself. Is that card really gone and lost in the deck? Yes. It is, isn't it? All right, here we go, watch this. If I told you I can make your card turn over in the pack, would that be good? That would be good. It's turned over. I mean, every card's turned over, but your card <laughs> didn't say it was going to be exclusive to your card, Mike. I mean, they're all turned over. You know, magic. <laughs> Not magic. Uh, I'll do magic. I'll make your card turn over. Just your card. Okay. In order to make your card turn over, watch the deck. To make your card turn over, Michael, what I have to do is I have to make every other card in the pack turn over. You see, I, now I can make every single card turn face down, except for one card face up right there in the middle of the deck. Michael, was your card the Three of Hearts? It was. That was pretty good, right? <laughs> that was very shall good. I, shall I do it again? Go Maybe on, you missed it. So there's a rule in magic, never repeat a trick. I'm going to do it again. Michael, push it in yourself. 
Is that fair? Yes. That's fair, isn't it? Any fair, you'd be cheating me. So in order <laughs> to do it again, this time I won't make your card turn over, but I'll make your card the only card that's turned over by not turning your card over. You see, if I don't turn your card over, your card will be turned over because all the other cards will turn over instead of your card turning over. Does that make sense? A little bit. Let me explain. <laughs> Look, all I do is I just rub the cards like this and the same thing happens, Michael. What happens is every single card in the pack turns face up with one card and one card only face down right there in that position. And Michael, that would be your three wow. of hearts. It's not bad, is it? That's pretty impressive. I know. Now, how good is that trick? Isn't that a fantastic trick? Let's talk about the positives. First of all, it's easy to do. Uh, it's not difficult at all. Second of all, you don't require a table. It's all done walk around, no table required. Third of all, there's not really any angles to consider. Fourth, it's super visual and it looks completely impossible. Uh, you're left with the deck with a regular deck of cards. There's one card that's a bit weird that you can fix with a KM move. Uh, there's one card that's kind of reversed at the end that they're not aware of, but you just do a KM move and that gets you out of that. And, uh, and, and then you can go into any other routine that you want to go into. And it makes a nice transition trick because you can go from a more typical reversed card routine into this inversion routine and have like a two-phase inversion kicker. And the other thing is, it's not that long. Sometimes some multi-phase routines go on forever. This is not the case. This does not go on forever. It's two really powerful moments and then you're done. Um, so yeah, if you actually examine the construction of this routine and you actually examine how this routine works and how it looks, you'll realize that it's really just very super strong. Uh, and it really is. So if you haven't ever done it before, go check it out. It's called Inversion Inverted by Jay Sankey. Now let's go on to the second routine. So the second routine that uh, you might never have seen before is called Reversi. That's R-E-V-E-R-S-I. Reversi. And that's by myself, me, Craig Petty. Hello. Uh, I first put this on my parlor DVD probably about seven or eight years ago, but I'd been doing it about four or five years before that. Uh, the only place you can really learn it on now is the Netrix. So if you like it, it's on the Netrix. You can learn it from there immediately. Um, this is a multi-phase routine. So this is a... Uh, this is a a routine where a card turns over in the deck over and over and over again. It does it multiple times and there is an inversion at the end as well. So at the end, there's an inversion. Uh, I like multi-phase routines where each phase builds and builds to a big kicker. It's why things like Ambitious Card are so popular. It's why things like Card Under Box are so popular. It's why things like Cards to Pockets are so popular because it, it's that repetition that really messes the spectators up. You know, if you just do a one phase ambitious card and the card comes to the top, it's like, well, that was cool. But then you do it again under challenge conditions and then you do it again and then you've got the big finale. Uh, well, it's the same as that really from construction point of view, the card turns over in the deck, which arguably is as strong as the card coming to the top of the deck. Then it does it again, then it does it again, then it does it again, it does it while the card's sticking out the deck, you know, each phase builds. And then at the end, the entire deck turns around. So yeah, it's it's a really fun well uh, routine that I really love performing. So without further ado, let's do it. Let's have a look at it. It's called Reversi. I'm going to perform that for you right now. Uh, and you're going to help me, if that's all right, uh, yeah. Michael. 52 cards, 52 possibilities. You're going to take any one of them. All right, okay. so reach in and take a card. Any one that you want to. I'm completely indifferent to the choice you're about to make. Are you happy with that card? Yeah. Show the camera, do not show me. And pass me the card back. I'm going to leave the card down there. You can push it in yourself for me. Is that fair? Now, yeah. hold your hand out, palm up for me like this. There we go. I'm going to put the cards right there. Don't move a muscle. Don't even breathe. Actually, do breathe because that'd be weird, but don't move. Right, here we go. Done. Believe it or not, I have just found your card. Check this out because now there's one card and one card only reversed in the pack right there in the middle the eight of diamonds was that your card it was indeed you might have missed it would you like me to do it again go on then the card goes right there push it in for me is that fair yeah look all i have to do is snap that's all i have to do i wait a second and then what happens is one card and one card only turns over right there in the pack i'm going to keep doing it until you like it it could be a while. Do you, I you see? Like do you it. see the card? <laughs> There's the card. Look, I'll leave it sticking out. You can see it's right there. You can push it in yourself. Push it in. I do nothing but snap. 
And when I snap, what happens is one card turns over in the middle of the deck. It works itself every single time. As freaked out as you are, I am as well. Now, <laughs> would you like to see the moment that the magic happens? Yes. I'll leave it sticking out, look, about halfway. Watch. If I just take it and shake it, you actually see it turn face down while it's sticking out the pack. That's when you see it. But if I put it into the deck and do this, you don't see it. It just happens. What the fuck? <laughs> Jack's what? freaked out behind the camera right there. So what the hell is going on? Look, the only way that I can do this even more impressively is if you hold on to the card. Now, that's the Eight of Diamonds. Make sure I don't cheat. To be clear, I'm going to cheat, but I just don't want you to catch me. <laughs> that's the Eight of Diamonds. You hold on to it. Now, here's the question, Michael. If I could make your card turn over while you're holding on to it, would that be amazing? It would be. The only way I could do that, Michael, is by taking the rest of the deck and turning them face up so that your card, while you're holding on to it, genuinely is the only one that's facing the other way. So there you go, that's Reversi. Um, let's talk about some of the positives. First of all, uh, it's a very quick routine to perform, even though it's multi-phase, it only lasts about two or three minutes. Uh, it, there's no angle issues really to speak of. There's no table required. You can do it uh, walk around. And in fact, it's one of my favorite routines to do walk around. It involves a big group of people. There's some really strong visuals in there. Each phase builds and there's some really strong visuals, you know, like that uh, moment uh, with the impulse change or the impact change where the cards that they are sticking out and then turns over. That's a really strong moment for anybody that's watching. The final phase, I love the moment where they hold the card that's sticking out the pack and they genuinely think it's gonna turn over again and then the entire deck turns over. Because you've established that that card's turning over again and again and again, when you do inversion at the end of this routine, it really kind of just takes them aback and they don't expect it and they don't see it coming. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no negatives to this trick, really. It's easy to do. Uh, there's a couple of moves in there. Oh, there are a couple of moves in there that are a little bit more challenging, like the impulse change. But it's not that it's not that they're that difficult. But one thing that I love about these type of routines where there's lots of phases is you can ease yourself into it gently. And what I mean by that is you can do the first phase, get the first phase down, make sure that's perfect, then go into the second phase, then go into the third phase, then go into the fourth phase. And before you know it, you've got the whole routine. And if there's particular phases in the routine that you don't care for, you're not interested in, you don't have to do those routines. Uh, you don't have to do those phases. You just need to do the phases that you like, that speak to you. And that's, uh, that's a great tip, really, when it comes to practicing magic and learning routines. Don't have to perform them the way that the creator actually writes them up. If there's a particular phase that you don't like, just take it out. It's as simple as that. Anyway, with that being said, we're going to move on. Let's have a look at the third trick that, we've ne that you've never seen before using a reverse card. So it pains me to say that there's probably going to be a lot of people out there that don't know what this routine is. Um, but unfortunately, there is. This is the reversed card routine by Tommy Wonder from the Books of Wonder. Uh, and this uses a move called the Wonder Reverse, which is one of the best moves in card magic, in my opinion. Um, it, it allows you to show a card reversed in the middle of the deck, turn it face down, and it's still reversed in the middle of the deck. It's a brilliant routine. It's on the Books of Wonder. It's also in Tommy's l, &L DVD set, uh, which I believe is available as a download. But unfortunately, it's this, this is a problem within the magic community. Everybody's looking for the latest and greatest thing. Everyone's looking for that new trick that's going to make them a superstar. And everybody overlooks the stuff that's come before. And Tommy's routines are a perfect example of that. You know, a lot of people aren't performing Tommy's stuff, and they really should be. Uh, and a lot of Tommy's material was really, really, really labor intensive when it comes to setting the trick up. You know, you need a you need a degree in engineering in order to just create the prop in the first place. Well, that's not the case with this, because with this particular routine, it's exactly the opposite. Uh, it's just a regular shuffled deck of cards in use. No gimmicks, no extras, no nothing. Just a regular deck of cards, and you can go into it anytime, anywhere. So let's have a look at this. This is, um, this is the reversed card by Tommy Wonder. Card. I'm here with Michael. How you doing, Michael? I'm good. And I've also got Jack behind the camera, the J-Dog himself. How you doing, Jack? You okay? Still a little bit sick, but how A little bit sick, yeah. You haven't got COVID, have you? 
Not that I'm aware of. Good. If you have, get the hell out of this office. <laughs> um, here's the thing. We're going to do some magic. Okay. Uh, okay. With a deck of 52 playing cards. Uh, do you want to shuffle or do you trust me? I trust you. Never trust a magician. You play for cheap for a living, yeah. You're going to pick a card, and Jack's going to pick a card. We're going to have two cards picked here. It's going to be like a two for one. And because his hands are busy, you're going to have both cards. So just slide two okay. cards towards you um, and uh, keep them face down. Are you sure you want those cards? Yeah. Okay, hang on a minute. I'm going to look away. One of those cards is going to be for you. One's going to be for Jack. So first of all, show Jack's card the camera. Jack, remember that card? Got it. Cool. And then show uh, your card to the camera. Got it. Got it? Cool. So, here we go. We're going to try and do this. Your card, right? Yeah. I'm going to put your card away first. It's going to go about half... Would you say that's about halfway? Yeah. We'll take roughly. We'll put Jack's card a little bit further down. Uh, it's kind of about, about there. Slightly further down. Right, so, uh, Jack, really important... Jack, my friend, can you remember your card? I can indeed. It's really important you remember your card because later on when I dramatically say this is your card, if you go, I don't know, it kind of loses its impact slightly. Well, I do like to sabotage you. I can tell. <laughs> Michael, you don't have to worry about your card for now. I'm going to sort Jack out first of all. Jack, this is an amazing trick. It's called the mystery of the reversed card. Of course, the idea is the card turns over in the middle of the deck. Now, it looks like this. Watch, if I just snap my finger... You've got to concentrate, Jack, by the way. Concentrate on the card. Just think of the card and only the card. If I snap my fingers, what happens is one card and one card only turns over in the middle of the deck. Seven of hearts. Jack, was that your card? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That Does that my, mean, that that means yes. Oh, good. Right, okay. I was worried about that there. So, I found your card. Now it's time to do your card. Okay. okay, so all you have to do, it's the same thing, you've seen Jack do it, you can do it as well. You just got to concentrate on your card. You concentrate on your card, it'll turn over in the middle of the deck. Okay, just okay. concentrate. Here we go. Focused. Done. And you see what happens is one card and one card only turns over in the middle of the deck. And the one card that turns... The seven. Jack, stop thinking of the seven. Can Sorry. you do that? No, no you've got to stop thinking of the seven, man. I know I said concentrate on the card. It's all really important about it, which is fine. But now we do it, we're, we're sorting Michael's card out. So you need to stop thinking... It's not your fault. You need to stop <laughs> thinking of the card. Have you got it, Jack? Okay, I'll think of Mario. Good, right. Okay. You ready? You got the card in your mind? Yes. Done. What happens, you see, I think it's worked. I can taste it. Yeah, it has. One card, one card only, turns over in the middle of the... Okay, no, this is your point. This is your fault at this point, Michael. Seriously, <laughs> you need to concentrate a little bit harder. You need to concentrate a little bit harder on this. Can, can we try again? Okay. You've got to concentrate. If you don't concentrate on the card, it's not going to work. And Jack, just make your mind blank. Think of something else. Think of rabbits. Think of, think of superhero. I don't really care. Think of anything. Just stop thinking of the seven of hearts. You concentrate on one card and one card only. The card. Really focus it in your mind. Imagine it in front of you, like there, and we're going to do this. Are you ready? Yes. Michael? Boom. One card and one card only turns over in the middle of the... Oh, for God's sake. This is... <laughs> Hang on, I've got an idea. We'll take your seven and we will tear it up. There we go. Now we don't have a problem. Right. You can think about whatever you want to right now. Are you ready? Yes. <sighs> Concentrate on the card. If I just snap my fingers, what happens is one card and one card only turns over in the middle of the... What? What? What was your card? What was your card? Not the Seven of Hearts. What was it? <laughs> the King of Hearts. No. Oh, right, that's... <laughs> It's not exactly what I was going for, but I mean, it works. So we'll, 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 was, was, was that your card? That was my card. Oh, brilliant. Hey, who? Yay, that worked. Uh, I can't tell you how much I love everything about that routine. I love the pacing. I love the construction. I love the magician in trouble type scenario. They never see that final change coming. Like, they never see that final change coming because the, the routine is constructed in such a way that, that it's just a complete surprise. It's a little bit like Sixth Sense or, you know, one of those films where there's a big twist at the end. You don't see it coming, but when it happens, it's like, oh my gosh. And that's what you've got in this routine. And I've actually gone to uh, the next level with this sometimes. Sometimes what I'll do is on the final phase, rather than just taking the card and putting it away, I'll rip it up and put it on the table. And still they change places and now the ripped up card is the second person's card. Um, from a from a positive point of view, it's easy. It's uh, okay. I'm not going to say it's easy to do. That would be a lie. 
it's not easy to do. However, I find it fairly easy because I've practiced the Wonder Reverse a lot. It, if you don't know the Wonder Reverse, it's absolutely worth learning. You should learn this trick just to learn the Wonder Reverse because there's a lot of moves that you can do with the Wonder Reverse. Um, but uh, it's, it, there's no table required. It can be done, um, you know, it, you walk around. Uh, it's, it's got a really engaging plot that gets people's interest. It's one of those tricks that works for adults and kids. You know, sometimes I get me, uh, people ask me on the channel, what tricks do you do for, uh, for, for what close-up tricks work best for kids? And a lot of the time, anything, you can make an ambitious card work for a kid. You can make anything work for a kid. However, this is a great thing to do for children. And the reason it's a great thing to do for children is because, um, um, they love that moment of the trick going wrong. Anything where something goes wrong, the kids love. But from an adult's point of view that are watching it, you know, they're just getting completely baffled and not having a clue. So if you're performing somewhere like a wedding or a family event where there's lots of kids following you around and you want to do something that works really well for the kids and really well for the adults, this is something that absolutely ticks all of those boxes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just an and, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's a shuffle deck of cards in use. There are no gimmicks. There are no extras. So you're left with a regular deck at the end that you can use to go into any other routine that you want to go into. So there you go. It's called the reverse card. It's by, it's by, uh, it's by Tommy Wonder. And you can learn it from his books or from his DVD set, which I believe now is a download. So there you go, guys. That's another three best things in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Are there any routines that I've presented for you here today that you do? And if you do them, let me know what you think of them. What are the reactions like? And are there any routines that I've actually presented to you on this video that you're now going to do? Again, I would like to know. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with a stack load more videos. And please don't forget, uh, if you haven't already done, so join the Netflix. Try it out. See what you think. A lot of people ask me, oh my God, your videos are amazing. How can you support me? Go check out the Netflix. That's all I ask. I'll be back again soon. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm -hmm.